Hey there, Alpine. Happy Monday. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to start with our uh, PT specific with 30 second bottom of air squat. Uh, bottom of air squat. Stretch, push the knees out, get a little loose here, rock side to side. If you have a tight ankle, um, just kind of figure out what you got going on. And then we have five each arm, single arm kettlebell swings. Those are full swings to the top. Remember, it's not a snatch, so keep that bottoms up. Then we have 10 single leg glute bridges. You're going to be using that same kettlebell. All right, you're going to put it on your hips and do single leg group glute bridges. Coaches, make sure people's hips aren't floppy, flop, flop. I don't know why I used that term, but I just did. But have them even. Then we have 20 total kettlebell plank, plank pull throughs. So because those last three movements were all using the same kettlebell here, those, those plank pull throughs are going to be the deciding factor of how heavy we go. And with those pull throughs, it shouldn't be super heavy. So we're not going heavier than 20 pounds today, friends. Then we have eight empty bar thrusters. Why are we doing empty bar thrusters? One, it's just a good full range of motion, gets that squatting and that pressing going on. And then it also works on proper timing of how we're not pressing until we've extended those hips, which is going to transfer over to what we're doing today, which is a bunch of clean and jerks, all right? First part is every 90 seconds for 12 minutes. That's eight sets. We're doing one clean and jerk. So that's eight singles here. We're going to build to almost a max here. That is 12 minutes. So that does give us some time to um, build up and start at a moderate weight here. I'm thinking no heavier than 70%, but I'd say no lighter than 50, so that 50 to 70 range. And you're building to an almost max, just like the snatch we did last week. For some of you, um, if it's feeling really, really good and you're moving well, sure, let's go for that one rep and see what happens. However, um, we just want to work on clean and crisp movements today. Then you're going to rest from 12 to 15. And then, the, then this is with a partner. With a partner, splitting reps however you'd like. Um, you're going to complete as many reps as possible in 10 minutes of a bunch of clean and jerks. It is a ladder. Between you and your partner, you're always completing 20 reps at a certain weight, then going to the next one. So you see it starts at, if we're just going with men, 135, 155, 185, 205, 225, 245. Yes, this is an aggressive end to the ladder. However, we have some really strong people here. These can be power clean and jerks. These can be clean and split jerks. These can be clean and power jerks. Whatever you guys are feeling today for this, let's just make it clean movements and just kind of have some fun with the partner here. All right, so this is for total reps. Um, however, if you get to that last bar, which is 245 plus 165, you're just doing as many reps as possible. Seeing what happens here. So find a partner, rage on. Have some fun. Let's do try to keep it to male, male, and female, female partners just because of spacing and equipment. Um, with this workout, um, why are we doing this? I just wanted us to work on a bunch of clean and jerks. We haven't spent a day where we're just working on that. Coaches, this is a great time um, to really get a lot of good coaching in and give people a lot of cues and feedback. Um, without them doing too many things at once because we're just focusing on that clean and jerk. Things to think about, um, the wonderful Nate Baycott. May he rest in peace, JK. He's not dead. Um, that one of them, <laughs> even though he does live in Missouri. Is that a cool state? I don't really know. I've heard great things about it, yet not. I don't know. But <laughs> Nate, Nate Baycott, the old uh, head coach here, always used to say, when we're pulling off the ground, especially with Olympic lifts, you wanna be pressing the earth beneath you down as far as possible. And that really helps me too, personally, where even when we're starting, even when we're pulling that bar, we're thinking about pressing our legs during that whole entire pull there, okay? Just use those legs as much as possible. You're gonna find it so much easier to get underneath the bar. And then those jerks, I suggest split jerking before you need to. All right? So we have a bunch of clean jerks today. Love you guys. Bye.